Luke, what are we doing our video on today? Meta. Hey Luke, give me a detailed description. In today's video, we will be taking a look at the Meta glasses and some of the more advanced features, including things such as detailed description. Hey Luke, be quiet. I will not, you <laughs> wound man. <laughs> So in today's video, we are back on the Meta Glasses train and we are checking out some of the more advanced features that you might find in the Meta AI app. Corey has been hard at work investigating all of the cool stuff that you can do and he has got some exciting things to tell you. We have four things. Not three. No. Nope. Not five. No. Four. Why mm. four? Well, four score, they say. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Who said? Uh, quick. Quick uh, quiz, who said four score? Uh, oh, four score and something yes. years. Yes, uh, seven, I something believe. Something happened. Yeah. Bruh. Really, you became a, a citizen and you don't know that Martin Luther King said, no, I'm just kidding, <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> All right, yes, yeah, so we have a number of uh, features built into the Meta Glasses. We've talked about a bunch of them. You can see previous videos. They'll be up on cards or description below. But we're gonna look at four features that we think should be turned on, if not already turned on. Or oh, turned or, off. Well, that's true. You may not actually want them on. <laughs> you can choose. Uh, but we're gonna look at four features that we think make the Meta Glasses a little bit uh, more beneficial for people with vision loss. So let's get to it. All right, feature number one. By default, you know that you need to say, hey, Meta, in order to interact with your glasses. But with our little tip here, you can actually turn that off if you choose not to want to speak to your glasses. What you're going to do is head over to the Meta AI app on your phone. You're going to tap on the settings for your specific Meta glasses, tap on Meta AI, and then Hey Meta preferences. And in there, you're going to see a toggle to turn off that Hey Meta and OK Meta. Once you toggle that uh, setting on or off, depending on which way you want it, once you have that done, you're gonna go ahead and just hold your finger on the right uh, arm of the glasses. Hold for, I don't know, maybe a second, second and a half, you'll hear the normal uh, Hey Meta listening sound, and now you can give your glasses responses without having to say the trigger phrase first. All right, let's move on to feature number two. This feature is actually new. So you were able to ask your Meta glasses for a description of what's in front of you. For example, I have a card here, and if I simply say, what's in front of me? You are holding a birthday card. Okay, very generic kind of description, just telling me it's a birthday card, not giving me very much detail at all. But if you would like more detail, then this new feature is perfect for you. You're gonna go to the settings app, uh, uh, go to the settings for your device. You're gonna look down under the accessibility heading and look for detailed responses. In there, you're gonna see all of the detail that's going to now be spoken. They're gonna talk about quantity of chairs and doors, things like that. And down at the bottom is where we can enable that feature. So let's turn it on and see how our description changes. All right, now that it's on, let's check out if we get a different response. What's in front of me? You are holding a greeting card with a design and the words, happy birthday on it. <laughs> Now that's still not as detailed as I think it can be. Now, sometimes you might not want always to get a detailed description. So maybe this isn't a feature you wanna turn on. So if that feature is turned off at any time, you can still ask your Meta Glasses for a detailed description. So you almost get kind of the best of both worlds. So let's just quickly ask it for a detailed description and see if it's a little bit different. Give me a detailed description of what's in front of me. You are in a room with a table in front of you. The table is made of wood and has a smooth surface. There are a few objects on the table, including a pair of glasses case and a box of tissues. In the background, there is a whiteboard and a few cabinets. You're holding a card with a floral design and the words happy birthday written on it. 
So as you can tell, when I asked for a detailed description, I got even more detail. So I think it might be safest to just ask for a detailed uh, description in order to get the most amount of details. Okay, so feature number three in Meta AI is to have the Meta Glasses announce calls and or text messages to you. Now you can find these things in the communications button. So if you go to your Meta AI app and go into your glasses, find the communications button and the option to announce calls is going to be right there in that menu. And if you toggle that on, then obviously it's going to go ahead and announce calls as they come in, as you are going to hear right now. Now, the uh, ability to have text messages announced and read aloud is found in a similar place. So we're going to go to Meta AI, we're going to go into our glasses, find the communications button, and then we're going to find the phone button and go into there. And in there, we're going to find two options. One is going to be to announce messages. So just let us know that we've received a text message. And then the other one is going to be for reading those text messages automatically to us, as we are going to hear right now. Message on your phone from Luke Scriven saying, this is the greatest video I've ever done. So those are some great features if you need to get a bit more audible information. However, Corey, if you are a voiceover user, hey. which I heard that you were. Ah, uh, that's me. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to pay attention. I right, was so. not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a voiceover user and you have these things in the Meta AI app turned on, you will get a double announcement. One from a voiceover letting you know that you've received a text message or a phone call and reading the message. And then one from Meta AI. That's a little bit too, inf uh, too much information probably for most people. Yeah. Yeah. And so you would want to uh, either turn off voiceover or not have those features enabled in Meta AI, whichever you would like to do. The preference is yours. <laughs> it is indeed. <laughs> and with that being said, it's time for feature number four. Final feature number four, four score and seven. Abraham Lincoln would be proud. Feels and like it's been seven years, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> That's taken a surprisingly long time to film this video. Number four is going to be the option to adjust the microphone. I have had some clients, Corey, who the microphone hasn't been the greatest quality. It's funny because I have, I hadn't experienced this issue at all, but obviously if they've added this in, yes. it's been a known issue. It has been a known issue and the microphones are in the bridge of the nose. And if, uh, depending on your nose, if your nose isn't close enough to those microphones, it might not pick up your voice very well. So when you're on a phone call, people can't hear you very well. Or if you're trying to even say, hey, Meta, it just can't pick you up very well. But never fear, there is a solution. We're going to go into our Meta AI app. We're going to go to our glasses settings and we're going to scroll down and we will find an option there for uh, troubleshooting the microphone. And if we go into there, there is a switch that we can engage. And this will basically boost the microphones as far as I can tell, Corey. Sure. Yep. And when it does that, then people will be able to hear you better and the glasses will be able to hear you better. So get boosting if you're having trouble. We know that the Meta glasses are a huge benefit to people who are blind or visually impaired. And hopefully these four features will make your glasses even better. I know they sure made mine better, Corey. And with that being said, <laughs> something else that will make your life better is our live show. That's right, we do a live show, me and Corey, unfiltered, live and raw, coming at you through YouTube. So uh, you're watching this on our YouTube channel, presumably. And if you just stay on here for like a week, then you'll see our live show. Just because stay forever. It, just stay really forever. It's uh, every other Thursday, 11 a.m. Central, where we cover various assistive technology topics, so check it out. If you've got uh, other features that you love about your Meta Glasses, throw them down in the comments. We'd appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really does help. And go check out techconnect.vision-forward.org, where you'll find a bunch more content and you can keep up to date with what we are doing. So with that, stay tuned. Goodbye. Goodbye. We should have been making Fantastic Four references. Oh, we could have. Why? Well, four features. Oh, four features. Yeah, that are fantastic. Mm. Fa four fantastic features for your. Uh, especially because that is actually timely at the moment. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Abraham Lincoln isn't so timely at the moment, but. Dude, <laughs> Abraham Lincoln's always timely. <laughs> this is Luke calling. <laughs> Pick up the phone. <laughs>
This is Luke texting. I love to text people. Uh, what's in front of you, and you will get a little bit of a crap in your pants. How about these glasses? Onto the demonstration. <laughs>